Hello, my favorite English language learners. It is your favorite English teacher here, Amy Joy. And as you can see, I am in a hotel room in Los Angeles, all dressed and ready to go to my friend's wedding. So in this video, I thought I would do something a little bit different and share with you some vocabulary and traditions related to American weddings. So if you're interested in finding out about wedding traditions, then watch this video and stay tuned. When you arrive at an American wedding, the first thing you will usually do is drop off a card or a gift for the couple. Now the gift will usually come from a gift registry and a gift registry is a list of items that the couple needs. They are usually kitchen items or home items for the couple to set up their new home together. So if you are invited to a wedding, you might ask the couple, where are you registered? Or can you send me your registry link so you know exactly what items the couple wants for their home? So pretty. So right now we are about to go into the ceremony part of the wedding. <laughs> So an American wedding tradition is that the guests of the bride will all sit on one side and guests of the groom sit on another side. However, this sign says, pick a seat, not a side, we're all family once the knot is tied. So this sign means that guests do not have to follow the typical tradition and that they can sit wherever they want. And you will also see here the expression to tie the knot. To tie the knot means to get married. Now let's take a look at the ceremony setup. Here you can see the aisle. The aisle is the path that the bride and groom walk down. And this explains the expression to walk down the aisle. To walk down the aisle means to get married. So if you want to put it in a sentence, you can say, before walking down the aisle, you need to find someone to marry. It was a beautiful Southern California day. We had wonderful views of the Pacific Ocean and everything was absolutely beautiful. Now another common American wedding tradition is wedding favors. Wedding favors are little gifts for your guests and at this wedding we got hand sanitizer and candles and they smelled so good. And here is the program that tells us who is in the wedding party. The wedding party includes parents, family members, and other important people who walk down the aisle and stand with the bride and groom. The groomsmen are friends of the groom who stand beside him. They are usually men, but recently women have been included too. The best man is the most important friend or brother of the groom and stands next to him at the front of the aisle. Then you have the bridesmaids who are friends of the bride who stand beside her. They are usually women, but again, recently men have been included too if the bride has special male friends or even brothers. And lastly, we have the maid of honor who is the most important friend or sister of the bride and she stands next to the bride at the front of the aisle. And here comes the bride. An American wedding tradition is to stand when she arrives. So here we go. Can you all please rise for the bride. And here are Sarah and Max saying their vows. The vows are the promises you make to your spouse at the altar. And the altar is just the end of the aisle. It's where the bride and groom stand and say their vows. This is also where we get our English expression to be left at the altar, which means your future husband or wife decides not to marry you at the last minute. Luckily, no one was left at the altar at this wedding and we made it through the ceremony. Now let's head on over to the reception. The reception is the party after the ceremony where there's dinner, dancing, and lots of photos. Now at American weddings, there's usually a seating chart that tells you where to sit. 
Here's my name and I'm at table number four. Another American wedding tradition is to give advice to the bride and groom or sign a guest book to wish them well in their marriage. Okay, let's go find table number four and get the reception started. Here you can see the bridesmaids and groomsmen entering and getting onto the dance floor while we wait for the bride and groom to arrive. Another tradition is the grand entrance when the bride and groom enter together as husband and wife for the first time. Here they are! And some other wedding traditions include the first dance where the husband and wife have their first dance together as a married couple. We also usually see a father-daughter dance where the father of the bride will dance with the bride and then the mother-son dance where the mother dances with the son. All right, now that these dances are over, let's eat. The food at this wedding was amazing. I got the filet mignon and my husband ordered the fish. Here you can see the beautiful reception. There was a live band, a DJ, and everyone got on the dance floor. Here you can see one common American dance. It is called the Cupid Shuffle. And this is a specific song where everyone knows the steps and they play it at a lot of American weddings. Now here is another dance that comes from a Jewish wedding tradition. This is the chair dance and although I had seen this in movies and on TV before, I had never seen it in real life. So this wedding was super fun because I got to experience another culture and see something that I had never seen before. Okay, and another really fun wedding tradition is the bouquet toss. This is when all of the unmarried or single women try to catch the bride's bouquet, and whoever catches it is supposed to be the next one that gets married. And another common wedding tradition is cutting the cake. Here you can see the bride and groom cutting the cake and enjoying it. Here you can see more of the venue. There was a photo booth, a beautiful fountain, and an open bar for everyone to enjoy and celebrate the bride and groom. I love you, Sarah and Max. Thank you for inviting us to your wedding and helping my students learn more about American culture. Now, let me know in the comments below, what are some common wedding traditions in your culture and in your country? I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can continue learning more about English and American culture. I'll see you next time. Bye.